friends, welcome back to Fancy Bloom. If you are new, welcome. My name is Oksana and in today's video I want to show you how to make paper palm leaves. Look, palm leaves have become super popular in interior decor, I feel like, in the last several years. People decorate with real palm leaves, dried leaves, full palm leaves, and it looks really beautiful, especially in all kinds of coastal interiors, Mediterranean, boho interiors. And I like them too. I love their tropical look. So, of course, I had to try to make them from paper. So, I created templates for two types of paper palm leaves. The first one is a simple leaf and you will only need two sheets of paper, regular size, 8.5 by 11. It's uh, very easy and quick to make and it has even and symmetrical look. And I know you guys love my free templates, so I did it again for you and you can download this palm leaf template from my website. I will leave all the links in the description box below this video. And the second type of leaf that I made is this big leaf that looks almost like the real thing. Uh, I was drawing this template by literally looking at the real palm leaf, so I spent quite a lot of time and I had to and I had to really work on it to make it look extremely realistic. Then I also came out with this very real looking stem because let's be honest, bamboo skewers or wooden dolls don't look really natural and also they are not bendable which is really inconvenient if you want to put your leaves in a vase or you want to create some sort of arrangement you really need that bendability so it's all about the small details that i try to pay my attention to you can purchase this leaf template also on my website but the whole process of making it and as well as how to make this simple leaf. I will show you right now, so let's move on to my desktop. And let's start with this very pretty simple leaf, for which, as I already said, I prepared a free template that you can easily download from my website. This template comes in two parts, so you only need two sheets of paper to make one leaf. As usual, I cut everything with the help of my cutting machine, but if you don't have one, there are always PDF files that you can print out and then cut them by hand. And when making templates, I always try to think about the smallest details, so I have added all the fold and scoring lines for you guys for your convenience. And this is another advantage of using a cutting machine, because it basically does all the work for you, marking all the lines, so you just have to assemble it later. But if you cut by hand, of course, you will have to do all the fold lines yourself. You can use a scoring board if you have it, or you can just do all the markings with a ruler and something similar to a scoring tool. It can be a dull knife or an empty pen without ink. Whatever you have on hand will work, but try to make all the fold lines very carefully uh, because it will depend on how nice and neat your leaf will look. And I ended up with two accordions like this. Now we need to glue the two pieces together. And I advise you to use some kind of craft glue instead of using hot glue for this. Because first of all, hot glue sets super quickly and you won't have enough time to align and even out this place of gluing. And secondly, after hardening, hot glue has volume. So this place anyway will be kind of visible. But craft glue after drying has no volume at all and will be invisible. I carefully glue this place and align it so it will be not noticeable at all. Now, if you are making these leaves for, let's say, a wall arrangement, for example, along with paper flowers, then all that remains is to gather and glue the leaf at the bottom. But if you want to put it in a vase, let's make a very simple stem first. I use a regular bamboo skewer, which I glue with the sharp end on about one and a half inches right down the center of the leaf. Please note that it's very important to find and glue the stem exactly to the center crease, because if you make a mistake and glue the stem at least one fold to the right or left, 
your leaf will simply not stand straight in a vase. It will always lean and spin to one side. And since you cannot bend the bamboo skewer, you will not be able to place the leaf in the vase the way you want. So I hope this makes sense because I already made this mistake uh, once before. All right, the stem is ready and now it's only left to gather and glue the bottom part. Look, you can glue this strip right away, but for me it's just more convenient to a little bit fix and glue the base first. And when I did that, uh, I already wrap and hot glue this strip very well. If you have any excess, you can carefully cut it off with the scissors or craft knife like me. And finally, we can open and fluff it up. I try to spread the whole leaf as much as I can and I also open each individual fold very well to give it a nice and beautiful shape. And here's the lovely palm leaf that we got. It's good that it can be made from any paper of any thickness. For example, this uh, light green leaf that I just made, I use regular cardstock paper weighing 175 grams. But for example, this dark green leaf I made from very thick paper, it's weighed 300 grams. So if you have a beautiful colored paper that you really want to use, but it's thick, don't be afraid to use it for making the sleeves. Yes, it will be a little more difficult to work with, but you still will be able to do it. All right, guys, now let's finally start to make the second type of leaf that I have prepared for you. It's a big fan palm leaf that looks just like the real one. I'm so excited to share it with you. So this leaf already consists of three parts, uh, not two like the previous one. And I have prepared templates for you guys for this leaf in two sizes. One size that fits on a standard paper, eight and a half by 11 inches, and a slightly larger size if you have 12 by 12 paper. Here I'm using a pretty thick paper, 280 grams, because I love this color and how it looks in my interior. And it's 12 by 12 paper, so I'm making a larger version of my template. I always leave all the links to the paper I used in the description box, so if you're interested, you will find everything there. Folding such thick paper is a little more difficult, but again, nothing too complicated, it just takes a little more of your time. Now, please note that the second and third parts are not the same length. So before starting to fold them, first determine on which side they should be adjusting to the middle part. Look, there are five highest folds in the middle section. The fold that's in the middle of this five is the central fold of the leaf. In my case, to the right of the five highest folds, there are two shorter ones, and on the left, there are three shorter ones. So the longer part should be attached where there are fewer folds and the shorter part uh, where there are already more folds. So that the number of folds is the same on both sides. I hope it makes sense. Now look, if you will use a cutting machine, then it will cut for you these little holes at the bottom of the leaf. You will see in a minute why we need them. But if you cut by hand, then the easiest way to cut holes, in my opinion, is to use a leather hole puncher. If you still don't have this little thing in your household, then I strongly recommend you to get one. In many cases, it can come in super handy. Look how easy you can make perfect holes. Just use the smallest hole size it has. If you don't have this thing either, then you can make holes with a craft knife, maybe a large needle, all, or any other sharp object you can find, uh, just don't make these holes too big. All right, I folded all three parts of my leaf and now I'm gluing them together just like I did the previous leaf using regular craft glue. Remember, not hot glue. Try to do everything neatly so that all the edges are aligned and the glue doesn't stick out anywhere and also make sure that you don't apply glue to the holes because you don't want to block them. And here's the beautiful accordion that I got. For now, let's put it aside until the glue dries completely and in the meantime, let's prepare the thread. 
We will need a regular thread with a regular needle that you will find at home. If you have a thicker thread, then use it. If not, just fold the usual thin thread three or four times. It will work just fine. As I have a pretty thick thread, I only fold it two times. And then I make a very simple knot at the end of the thread. You can double knot if you want, but that's not really important. And I'll show you now why. Look, I'm threading the needle through the first fold and as you can see the knot itself is kind of small and it will not securely hold in this place so we need to fix it really well so that it cannot go through the holes right and very easily I can fix it with hot glue the hot glue will harden as it cures it will plug the hole and it will hold the knot securely in place so I just put a little bit of hot glue under the knot and then a little bit on top of it as well while the glue hardens I put the thread through the entire leaf and now I pull the thread tightly so that all the folds are evenly and tightly squeezed at the bottom make sure that the tension in, is the same on both sides so that it doesn't happen that one side where the knot is tight and the opposite side where you pull the thread is more loose because we are achieving symmetry at the bottom of our leaf make sense and when I'm ready to secure the thread, I pull it to the back side of the leaf and fix it well with hot glue. When the glue hardens, you can cut off the thread and once again additionally fix all the places with hot glue. But try to do it very neatly so it doesn't look like a glue mess. Perfect, the leaf itself is ready, so let's make a beautiful palm leaf stem. Instead of a short and rigid bamboo skewer, I suggest using floral wire here. The floral wire is 18 inches uh, long compared to only 11 inches skewers and it's flexible, which is exactly what we need. And you can use any floral wire, but I really suggest you choose paper wrapped wire because paper to paper sticks much better than paper to wire. And now we need to decorate this wire so that it doesn't look like a wire, but like a real palm leaf stem. To do this, we need a few pieces of the same paper that you use to make a leaf. I also included these pieces of paper in the templates, but the exact dimensions are not really important here, because it depends on the paper weight you will be using. My stripes are about 5 inches high and 2.5 inches wide. In my personal experience, I just found out that strips longer than 5 inches or shorter than two and a half inches wide are hard to roll into nice tubes. So this has become a working ratio for me. But if you have, let's say, thin paper that's easy to work with, or you are an expert at paper tubing, you can try to use longer strips. First, I curl and shape the paper using the corner of my table, just to make it easier to roll. I want to remind you that here I'm using very thick paper, 280 grams, and it's kind of difficult to roll perfect tubes out of it. So if you use a thinner paper, it will be much easier for you. And before fixing the tube, I try to the base first and I can adjust the thickness of the tube so that it fits perfectly in size to the leaf base. I use hot glue and I try to apply it not to the very edge by stepping a little back from it so that it doesn't squeeze out and everything looks neat. If you want, you can also fix the tube in the middle as well. If you are interested, I tried to use a glue roller for this, but unfortunately it doesn't fix anything, especially such thick paper like mine, so I really advise you to use hot glue. I make a total of three tubes because for me this length will be more than enough. Consider that most of the stem will be inside the base and it will not be visible, so maybe even two tubes will be enough for you. And don't forget to always check that all your tubes are the same thickness and diameter. Now you need to glue the wire inside the tubes and everything is very simple here. I just put the hot glue to the wire and glue all the tubes one by one. Make sure that all the seams on the tubes match 
so that you have the clean front side of the stem and the back side with all the seams which will not be visible and the wire i glue also to the back side of the tubes where you have the seams another extra step that you can maybe skip but i prefer to do is to cover the seams between the tubes i just cut a narrow strip of paper and carefully wrap and glue it around the seams and I also make sure that all the seams are only on one side of the stem and they are not visible from the front side. And then cut off the excess with a craft knife. Perfect! Our beautiful stem is ready and it remains only to glue it to the base of the leaf. So I cover the top of the stem with hot glue very well and glue it into the leaf. It's very important to ensure that you glue the stem straight. To check yourself, just find the highest central fold of the leaf and make sure that the stem lines up exactly with the central fold. This is very important, guys. At the end, you can additionally apply a little more glue on both sides to fix it even more securely, but don't overdo it so that everything looks as neat as possible. As you can see, I slightly overdid the glue here and it dripped down the stem, so try to be careful and don't use too much glue. If your leaves in a vase uh, will be visible from all sides and not just from one side, then as an option you can cover the back of the base and the thread with a small patch of paper. I won't do this because my vase is standing against the wall and the back side of the leaves uh, won't be visible, so I just skip it, but you can totally do it if you need. Alright guys, I'm a little bit uh, fluffing the folds on the sides and our beautiful leaf is finally ready. Just for example, I want to show you a leaf that I made from a smaller template which is designed for regular paper size 8.5 by 11 inches and it was also much thinner paper, only 175 grams. So you can see and compare both leaf sizes side by side. Of course, it was much easier to make perfect tubes from thinner paper and also you can see that the base of this leaf looks much neater without any glue drippings. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave me a comment if you did or if you have any other questions, I would love to hear from you. Remember to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up because it means a lot and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye!